So, turns out this purge law that they're passing in January is a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit, man. And um, I don't want to contribute to misinformation being spewed, man. That's definitely what I did by posting that video earlier today or when I don't know when I'll post this video now man but look I'm 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 going to I'm going to show y'all what I've unveiled and I I'll let y'all make y'all own conclusions right but yesterday I posted the fucking video about the purge law the safety act and you literally have the mayor in Illinois saying this it abolishes cash bail for almost every offense this includes but isn't limited to kidnapping armed robbery, second degree murder, drug induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights, and keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. Yeah, that was Keith Pacow. He's the mayor of Orland, uh, He's the mayor of Orland Park. He's a decorated veteran and successful small businessman who will put who will put people over politics in the sixth district, right? He said all that, man. And during that video, I was trying to make sense of what this act is about, and it just didn't make any sense to me. They're denying cash bail for what? It's looking at different media outlets, and I did the same thing today. And if you type it in, all you're gonna see is this propaganda that's gonna make people fearful of what the hell's going on, man. Like, I, I, you can go to Keith, go to Keith Pacow's Twitter page. Look at this shit. The mayor is Keith Pacow. He's also running for Congress in the district, sixth district there in Illinois. Sir, good morning to you and thank you for your time. Uh, I, I imagine at the moment there's no way you can stop this. How can you warn the people of your state? as we have seen example after example in various American cities so far. Well, I think the way we warn them is exactly what we're doing now on board floors throughout the suburbs. They've, we've been uh, passing resolutions to let the, let the towns know, let the, let the legislators know that this law needs to be repealed. And the most important thing that voters can do is vote these people out of office so that on January 3rd, when new uh, legislators come into, a, come into, into power, they can overturn this horrible law. Let's show everybody what the, the list that where you can get zero bail, okay? Um, kidnapping, burglary, robbery, arson, uh, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, even second-degree murder, um, and threatening of a public official. All right. So it wasn't even until my mom sent me a video of this woman talking on Instagram that made the connections that I needed to hear for this to make sense. But even with that being said, it was just a woman talking. She was a, a public defender and she's providing her perspective on uh, what this act is supposed to do, right? So, um, like, I didn't want to be misled again. So I decided to research a little more, man, just try to figure out what the fuck is going on, man, because based on what the fuck they're saying, it don't make sense. Like, why would you deny cash bail? for all of these charges that are clearly gonna put the public in danger, right? So, okay. So, I found this article, man. In early 2021, Illinois passed the Safety, Accountability, Fairness, and Equity Today Safety Act, a major criminal justice reform bill that addressed changes in pre-arrest diversion, policing, pre-trial processes, sentencing, and corrections. In passing this act, Illinois became the first state in the country to abolish cash bail. Why would you abolish cash bail? Are defined as payments for jail release for arrested people who are still waiting for their case to be heard in court. While the Safety Act was signed into law by Governor J.B. Pritzker in, in February 2021, 
and many portions of it are already in effect, the no cash bail policy will take effect on January 1st, 2023. The no cash bail policy is part of a pre-trial Fairness Act, a piece of legislation is comes with the Safety Act that creates a new pro that creates new processes for pretrial release and, de and detention decisions. Ahead of its implementation, it had faced opposition from Republicans as well as law enforcement, who argued that these changes would put the public and law enforcement officers at risk. A newspaper clipping had been making the rounds on Twitter and other sites claiming that Illinois was instituting the purge, a reference to a movie in which all violent crime is legal for a day. Such policies, according to the tweet below, would mean criminals could no longer be detained or required to pay bail in order to be released for violent offenses including second-degree murder, drug-induced homicide, arson, aggravated burglary, kidnapping, etc., etc. All that, that long list of shit that they've been saying. The no-cash bail policy. What does the law actually state? To explain, it's necessary to understand why there have been calls to abolish cash bail in the first place. According to the Center for American Progress, Three out of five people sitting in the U.S. jails have not been convicted of a crime, amounting to nearly half a million people languishing in jail cells before trial. This is in part due to the cash bail system operated by most jurisdictions across the country that the center describes as criminalizing poverty. People who are unable to afford bail remain in detention while awaiting trial for weeks or months, and the effects of this process are felt mostly by impoverished communities of color. Indeed, the Illinois Criminal Justice Information Authority reported that of 100 individuals who have a bail bond hearing, 34 are detained pre-trial due to inability to pay cash bail. Nationwide in 2009, covering the cost of bail is too often prohibitive for many defendants who can languish there for years without trial. Many point to the case of Caleb Browder in New York, who at 16 was held in Rikers Island for three years from 2010 to 2013 without being convicted of the charges that led to his arrest because his family cannot afford the $3,000 bail cost, accused of stealing a backpack. But the thing that stuck out to me is, is like there somebody's fucking lying, right? This makes all, all the sense in the world, right? But what they're running with is this long list of fucking crimes that people are going to be let go for. And you just heard it from the fucking mayor twice, right? People are allegedly going to be able to be released. You know what I mean? Don't have to pay fucking bail. You're going to get released, right? But nah, that's cap. Is there a list of fucking crimes that are no longer detainable and people are going to be let go for? That's, that's false. The act also states pretrial release may only be denied when a person is charged with an offense listed in section 110-6.1 or when the defendant has a high likelihood willful flight and after the court has held a hearing under section 110-6.1. The offenses listed under section 110-6.1 include when the defendant who is charged with a forcible felony offense for which a sentence of imprisonment without probation, periodic imprisonment, or conditional discharge is required by law upon conviction and is alleged that the defendant's pretrial release poses a specific real and present threat to any person or the community. In Illinois, the forcible felony, which I just referred to in section 110-6.1, in Illinois, the for forcible felony refers to treason, first-degree murder, second-degree murder, um, predatory criminal sexual assault of a child, aggravated criminal sexual assault, criminal sexual assault, robbery, burglary, residential burglary, aggravated arson, arson, aggravated kidnapping, kidnapping, aggravated battery, but pretty much everything that they listed that they're gonna get let, let go for, they're not gonna let people go for, right? They're getting rid of no cash bill to provide to provide relief for those who can't afford a cash bill, who aren't, who don't need to be sitting in jail waiting for trial, rotting away, right? But then what happens is that it's upon the judge to determine whether or not the the person that is that is uh, um, awaiting pretrial deserves to be let go or not, right? No longer cash bill, you can't buy your way out. So a lot of these a lot of these motherfuckers have the money to buy their way out, committing these crimes. What what's, what's happening now is the judge looks looks at the case, right? And if you are a severe a risk to the community, right? If if we release you and you you pose a severe threat, if I re if if we were to release you, we're not releasing you, and that's what the, that's what the act just wrote. That's what that's what the act states. Pre-trial release may may only be denied when a person is charged with those offenses that I just told you, and it's on the judge to determine whether or not that's going to take place. You can no you can no longer just bail yourself out, right? You can't do that. Whether you have the cash, you don't have the cash, right? And and 
the the the, the jails, the pretrial jails are flooded with people who don't need to be sitting there rotting away when they can be at home chilling. They're still in the system. They still have to fucking come to, come to court. They still have to fucking go through the litigation process. And if they don't, then warrants will be issued. Motherfuckers going to get snatched up, man. But this shit that they're running with right now is just total. It's bullshit. It's all propaganda, man. It's all propaganda, and the fucking mayor just talk, said mayor just sat up here and told a bold face ass lie. All these media outlets are telling bold face ass lies, man. And I bought it like hook, line, and sinker, bro. Like, I mean, what what else am I supposed to think if you hear a fucking mayor say that, right? They're gonna let go all these motherfuckers, pretty much describing the purge, and it's not that's not what's taking place. That's not what's taking place, man. It's the social media outlets, bro. To social media outlets, put their fucking twist on shit. People run with it, right? But that's one thing. But the fucking mayor saying that. The mayor saying that, right? And they don't want this law to pass. They want to keep motherfuckers rotting away. They want to keep creating divide. They want to keep playing us like fucking fiddles. That's what it comes down to, man. Yeah, you can, you can, y'all can fill those gaps in yourself. But look, bro, like we have two entirely different claims of what's going on right now. The one where they're gonna release all the fucking criminals, no cash bail, about to be the purge, which doesn't make any sense. No, none of, none of the shit they're saying makes any sense. Like, why the fuck is this happening? It shouldn't happen. Why is it fucking happening? No one's answering their questions. And then the opposite end, they're saying, you know, the shit that makes sense, all that shit makes sense. Why would you get rid of cash bail? Because some motherfuckers can't afford it and they get sent to right away awaiting trial when they don't need to be sitting in there. They didn't commit a crime severe enough for them to be sitting in jail, rotting away. I mean, and half the fucking prison cells, jail cells are due to people awaiting trial that don't need to be sitting there, right? And then it also prevents motherfuckers who can bail themselves out you not to to not be able to build themselves out if they have the fucking money, you know what I mean? But you know, look, y'all see why I am on it, man. I, I I think it's bullshit, bro. It's propaganda that goddamn split us up, man. Y'all can come to y'all own conclusions on this shit, bro. Uh, but yeah, that, that that's where I'm at with it, man. And what I also find interesting, and I mean, this is a lot of conspiracy on my behalf, like you know what I mean, but. Like, I know the amount of views my goddamn channel supposed to be getting on fucking channels, bro. And that video I posted on this today is viral for my shit. It's going viral for me right now. Like, I've never had a video on my Night Talk channel that's getting the views that this video was getting. Wow. Which makes me believe, like, is YouTube trying to facilitate this consumption of misinformation, bro? I posted that video four hours ago. It's got 151,000 views, bro. It's number one, you know, the, my, my second highest viewed video in this week, number two, is at 16,000 views. So there's that too. It's crazy.